Alright, yo, um, what's up, what's up? Crazy day today with my hair, it's looking a little crazy, eh? Long hair don't care, you know I don't care, so let's get into it. Um, today we're gonna talk about, let's see, um, mm -mm -mm. self-worth, maybe? Self-worth, self-worth. Let me see, is that a good one? I think that's a good one. Yeah, fuck it, let's go with that. Um, self-worth. Um, a lot of people out there, they, um, they let other people step on them. They uh, let other people control their lives. Let people, you know what I'm saying, dictate their every move. You know? Fuck that. I'm here to tell you, that ain't the right way, baby. It ain't. You gotta be you, and you only. And, um... You got to you got to find yourself, you know what I'm saying? In order to know your worth, you got to find yourself first. A lot of people get lost because other people either bullying or you know people play games with you or heartbroken or this and that. But after all of that, after you're good, you you're in a good state of mind, you got to find yourself and then you find yourself worth. Um example, me Ain't nobody could tell me nothing because I know what the fuck I'm worth. Um, I've always kind of hated being underneath anybody else. Um, as like as far as like work wise, I've always hated. Like if it wasn't like a job that I'm like doing my own thing, like I'm still working, not necessarily being lazy. But if I'm not doing my own thing, then I never really liked it. <clears throat> so if I gotta work under somebody else, or I gotta. Listen to somebody else's rules. I always looked at it like that's stupid because I'm worth more than that. So, you know, you got to know your worth. A lot of the times, too, when it comes to work, um, I understand certain people don't have an option with the with the job that they got. But look, look for something that that you that you know, you know, pays a little better. Don't just stay there because it's what you're comfortable with. You know, step out of your comfort zone. And, um, you know, go for something that make you feel good about yourself. Um, example, I used to work at, um, I used to work at Domino's and I used to love the job, even though I paid $5 an hour, I used to love the job because I was my own boss in a sense. I made my own, everything was on my time. Everything was, you know, I could be on the phone if I wanted to, I drive around all day, I could see my family if I wanted to. And, you know, I. I went appreciated in that job. Even though it was only $5, I was definitely appreciated in the job. And, you know, that's why I stuck there. But, you know, apart from that, it also gave me the opportunity to sell cars on the side. And that's when I found my worth. You know what I'm saying? And I was able to work in a company while still being able to do my own thing on the side, a little side hustle. And, you know, you you start to you start to figure yourself out little by little. And um, that's how it was for me. And little by little, I started to understand that you do have an option when it comes to where you're at, at, at in your point in life right now. You have an option to be better. You have an option to become better. But you have to make a lot of sacrifices in order to make that happen. And too many people nowadays are just too scared to make that shit happen. And they, they get comfortable where they're at and they feel like nothing could touch them, nothing could stop them. And yeah, it happens every time when you get too comfortable is usually when you when you get hurt the most because you're like, damn, I was doing everything so well. Why did I get fired? Or you know, I thought I was doing everything that that person wanted me to. Why did they break up with me? I thought I hung out with my friend. Why does he not want to be my friend no more? Um... There's a bunch of things, but you have to understand your self-worth at the end of the day. Find that, and then uh, nobody can really tell you anything past that because it's like, no, you know you know what you got. You know what you're worth. So when it comes to a relationship, um, you got to know what you got. You do. You got to know what you got. You have to know that you that nigga or you that woman, and that's it. If they If they leave, they're lost. You have to know that. Same thing with work. You have to know that if you leave, everything else gets fucked up. That's how much of an important person 
you have to feel for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how you really gotta that's how serious you gotta take yourself. Because if nothing, everybody else is gonna take you as a joke and they're gonna keep stepping on you and that's when you get hurt. That's when everybody else starts to take advantage of you. Everybody else is just throws you around like a little rag doll. You don't want that. You wanna you wanna be the the top of the top. At all times, you know, you you always want to correct people if they say this about you. Then okay, challenge that. No, don't mean it's wrong, but just challenge it. Okay, how this or how that, and don't just take the very minimum. You know, just always aim for the stars, aim for the moon, and the sky's the limit, dog. As long as you keep reaching, you're always gonna. Find out new things about yourself. You're always going to find out new things about yourself. You'll impress yourself every time that uh, when you want to try something new, you go ahead and do it. You're like, damn, I'm kind of good at it. Jogging, breathing, riding, uh, selling something, um, trying to get a girl, um, applying for a new job. Maybe you felt like your interview skills was terrible. No, go for it. And understand your worth and you got to speak like you're worth it and then those opportunities start to to present themselves they don't come by themselves you got to work for them some things if you're lucky some things will fall in your lap but it's kind of how you take it after that that determines if you're really worth that opportunity or not if the opportunity is worth you or not and you got to go with it man got to find that inside you got to find the inner you happiness like i said yesterday all of these things together kind of create your your worth, but you have to find it within yourself. You can't let anybody else tell you what the fuck you're worth. You can't let nobody else tell you what the fuck to do. Well, you could if they're your boss, but you got to do your own thing too so that they respect you more, so that they look at you as more than a worker. And you got to put yourself out there, man. You really do. You can't be laid back. You can't just... Sit comfortable and expect shit to just continue to be handed to you because people get tired of that. And then that's when you get disrespected and you don't like it. And it's only your fault. It's nobody else's fault that you're being spoken to that way. It's because you allow it. And if you allow that, people are going to continue to step on you. So, yeah, man, moving forward, don't let nobody step on you. Don't let nobody tell you that you're not worth anything because you're worth a million dollars. And that shit ain't nothing either. So you're worth a million Whatever else is worth something to you And you're worth that times a million And um, there's no limit And Nobody could tell you what you are Nobody could tell you That you're not this Nobody could tell you nothing man You are you You gotta find that within you You gotta be confident in every way in your life In every aspect Every decision you make Back it up You gotta bring proof You have to bring this is not just saying I'm going to do this action behind it. It's not. Or if you are going to do that and somebody else disagrees with you, then, you know, show facts behind that. Show evidence behind that. Show proof behind that. And, you know, it's not just saying something. It's actually doing it and providing proof that you are going to get it done or you have been doing this or you are going to be better. And, you know, it's more than just saying it, man. For real. You got to find it within you, dog. Stop letting people step all over you. People ain't shit, man. People that usually uh complain about you. Ah, you ain't worth this. You ain't worth that, man. They got the fucking problems. Like I said yesterday, they got all the issues. They got to fix that shit with themselves. They feel insecure. They don't feel confident. So don't let nobody else bring y'all down, man. If you do feel confident right now, don't let nobody else tell you otherwise. Don't don't let nobody bring you down, man. Words, they can't hurt you, man. Well, they could if you let them, but they shouldn't because they're just fucking words. Fuck that. Words shouldn't affect you in any way, bro. You should just take in all the positivity. Let all the negative energy bounce right off of you. Mm, they don't touch me. Only good, baby. Only good. Only let the good come to you. and That'll make you better. And surround yourself around people that are actually going to make you better. That's another thing too, man. You you surround yourself around people that ain't worth shit, then you ain't worth nothing. Then you won't feel confident about yourself because then other people downplay you. And you got to surround yourself and actually, you know, 
Push people away that don't do anything for you. Get a nice little circle, nice little support team around you that is always helping you out. It's always helping you push forward. It's always helping you motivate. And, you know, yeah, nice little group. Get those people. It could be one person. It doesn't even got to be a group. It could just be one person. And eliminating everybody else is what you have to do. You can't mix the two. If you want to be better, you can't surround yourself around people that are really trying to help themselves out and kind of take advice. You know what I'm saying? Because then you're not really doing yourself any good, bro. You're you're holding your, your, your worth back. You're not really expanding. You're not really trying to get better because you're doing the same thing every day. You're still doing the same thing every day. You want to preach this? But your actions speak louder. You got to preach something and do that same something. You can't just, eh, I'm going to be this this year or I'm going to do that today or I'm going to do that tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes and you're still doing the same shit you've been doing this past year. So you got to switch it up, man. If you really want to be something, you got to switch up what you're doing today. If you want to make it happen, you got to put action behind it. And you can't continue to do the same shit every day, bro. It's never going to get you anywhere. It's going to get you on the fucking treadmill. You see on the treadmill, you run, 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 but you're still in the same place. It's basically like talking, 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 but not taking any action behind it. So it's the same shit, man. And um, yeah, you got to you gotta get out there in the street and actually run. And when you... When 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 you say you're going to do it and you run, when you're out there, you actually make it. Oh, shit, I ran a block. Oh, damn, I did that block pretty easy. I said I was going to do it. I did it. Now, let me let me run three blocks. You run three blocks. Like, damn, all right, cool. That shit was even easier. And then you go, eh, let me try a mile. All right, cool. You try to run a mile. Now you're a little tired, but you still got it done. That's, that's what's important is that you get it done. Nothing's perfect. Whatever little hiccups you have in the way, you're going to fix them. Everybody's going to make mistakes. Everybody's not going to know how to do it the right way. But you got to make those mistakes in order to know right from wrong. You have to make those mistakes so you don't make them again. So, um, yeah, man, before you know it, you'll be running marathons, laps around people that you used to chill with. And they're constantly just going to be on that treadmill. And you'll be like, damn, you should have just got off that treadmill, went outside, started jogging with me. And... You know, we would have been running marathons together. They don't want to run marathons with you, man. They ain't on your team. And, yeah, man, you got to you gotta eliminate that circle. You got to eliminate all that negative energy if you really want to find your, your, your worth. You have to eliminate those people to know who's really with you and who's not with you. You got to start to move different so that people realize what you're doing right from what you're doing wrong. And the people that will notice you, Trust me, they'll always be beside you. They'll always help you. They'll push you. When you need a little bit of air while you're running out there, they'll come. They'll give you a bottle of water. They'll they'll fuel you with some words. You know what I'm saying? So those, those are the people that you got to have around you if you really, really want to change your life, if you really want to make a change. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, more of the story, man, find yourself. Find yourself worth. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Everything is possible. It just takes time, literally. If you say you're going to do something, just do it. If you do that same thing for a year, you will see a difference. Trust. Yeah. I've made that happen. And so could ya. I know y'all could. I'm here to relay those messages. And, you know, it's possible, man. Nothing's impossible. If you want to do something, go with it. Whatever you feel inside in there, in that corazoncito, just go with it, bro. Go with it. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Because you could, dog. You could. Nobody could tell you otherwise, man. So, on that note, I'm starving. I'm going to go get something to eat. And, um, yeah, I'll probably do another video today because um, I feel like it. You know, today, I'm going to double up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try something different. I've been running a block. Today, I'm going to run two blocks. And then, eventually, I'm going to be running a mile on the same tip right here, dog. So, um... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to do another little video in about two, three hours. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Stay motivated. Stay positive. Anything, you already know. Ask me whatever you want. 
Let me know what's up. Anything you want to talk about, I'm here. Jay the therapist, Jay the doctor, motivational Jay, whatever you want to call me. I'm here, dog. So, um, yeah, let me know what's up. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm out of here. Peace.